What's up guys, Matty here. In today's video, we are gonna master a song using only Acoustica plugins. Now there's so many Acoustica plugins you could choose from, but I've chosen three that we will use. One will be the Coral Bax, which is actually a free plugin. Two will be the Azora 2, which I like to use in MS mode a lot. And lastly, we'll use the Howie Weinberg mastering console to get our overall levels and our final touches. I'm super excited to get into this video, but before we do, please make sure to like and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Let's go. All right, guys, the song we're going to be working on today is by my friend Trip Carter. You can check him out on all the streaming platforms. We did this EP a few months ago. Really good music. Make sure to check him out. Um, what we'll do first is just take a listen to the song and then we'll get our thoughts together on what we think we can do to improve this song in the mastering process. So for a little bit you physical, it's a heavy head I carry no lie. So sometimes I pull my weight all on you. Okay, so the mix sounds pretty good, but I think we can push it a little further. I feel like I would like a little more width to it, and the upper mids, uh, I feel, could push out a little more, so we're getting a little more of his vocal. Right now, the vocal's good, but it's a little bit in the back, and I feel like we could pull it out more. And finally, we'll use the Howie Weinberg mastering console to get our overall level. Right now, we are at roughly negative 14.5 luffs, uh, if you guys check out Insight. I would like to get to around negative nine. I feel like that's the good sweet spot these days uh, for overall level. Let's get started with the backs. Now, the backs is one of my uh, favorite EQs for mastering. I used to actually have the hardware unit and I've sold it. And if you're interested why, I made a video comparing this backs to my analog backs. And it was so close that it just didn't make sense to have another piece of hardware lying around. Uh, I'll put a link to the video if you're interested in that. But what I like to use the backs for is the filters are really good. And then just general shaping, sometimes just giving myself a little boost in either the lows or the highs um, can help start pushing the song in the right direction. So let's go through that and take a listen. So for a little bit of physical, it's a heavy head I carry no lie. I put my weight all on you I can't bear it by myself I put my weight all on you And you hold it for me You know it's all I put my weight all on you So for a little bit of physical It's a heavy head I carry no lie So sometimes I put my weight Okay, so that feels pretty good right there. And as you can see, we're just doing very light filtering. I don't want to take that much of this up low at low end out. And then I'm just doing it like, you know, 70K uh, at top. No one's going to hear that, but it just shapes it a bit. Then I'm boosting a little bit of 84. I like that frequency on the backs. It just gives the kick a little more thump. And then we're boosting and doing a shelf at 4.8 by 1 dB. Um, and that's just starting to lift that vocal out a bit. And, and we'll do that a little more and the uh, Azura 2, but this is like the beginning. And a lot of times with mastering, little moves through the process equal out to the, the final product being really good. So I think that's good for the backs. Let's move on to the Azura 2. Okay guys, so I like to use this plugin in MS mode. And I also like to turn on the pre. It's got this kind of tube pre that they emulated. It doesn't sound that different, but it gives it a kind of warmth and clarity that I like. So I usually turn that on. And then I'm gonna turn MS mode on. So this left will be mid and the right will be side. And then I'm also just gonna link it for now. I will use the link on and off and I'll show you why in a second. So first, what I think we could do is turn on the super high frequencies. We're gonna boost this all the way to 27. And we're just gonna, this is just gonna add some air and some sparkle to the top of the mix. And I'm gonna crank it up and then dial back and see you know where we land with that. So far, I put 
put my weight all on you I can't bear it by myself I put my weight all on you And you hold it for me You know it's shorty I put my weight all on you So for a little bit in physical It's a heavy head I carry no lie So sometimes I Okay, so that feels pretty good. It's subtle, but it just adds a little bit of air and lift to it. And depending on you know what speaker systems you're on, you might hear it more than, than not. Um, so that's a nice setting. And then I still wanna get that vocal just to be a bit more forward. So this is where we're gonna unlink this. And we're gonna turn on our um, high mid frequencies here. And maybe let's see where we get between 1.8 and 8.2, just boosting the mid a bit the middle a bit, just to, to get the vocal to come out a bit more. So for a little bit in physical, it's a heavy head, I carry no lie. So sometimes I put my weight all on you. I can't bear it by myself. I put my weight all on you. And you hold it for me. Okay, so that feels nice. You really hear the vocal coming out um, in that section. Now, just to offset a bit, that a bit, so we're not pushing the mids too much, we're gonna widen out the sides overall using just the output knob. So we'll just turn this up. We're gonna try to go for like 0.5 dB, not much, but just to give us a little more width, and this is a great way, if you need width, or you want the sides wider, this is a great way to do it. So for a little bit in physical, it's a heavy head, I carry no lie. So sometimes I put my weight all on you. I can't bear it by myself. I put my weight all on you. And you hold it for me. You know it's shorty. I put my weight all on you. So this EQ is making a big difference. You notice what I did do is I did dial back our um, boost at 4.7 on the middle, just because I felt like it was pushing out a little too much, but that sounds really good. Let's listen really quick, just bypassing the Coral and the Zora. Um, as you know, with Acoustica plugins, it will sound a little jumpy when you bypass, so it is what it is. So for a little bit in physical, it's a heavy head, I carry no lie. So sometimes I put my way As you hear the difference, this really did accomplish what we were trying to do, which was, you know, pull the, for the vocal forward a bit, give it a little more shine, and make it feel a little bit wider. So I feel like we did accomplish that pretty well with these two EQs. So now we're gonna go to the final stage of getting a little more level using the Howie Weinberg Mastering Console. Uh, I have it set up here. Now, you will notice I have a couple of things different than what might be default when you usually open this. I like the limiter to go to the analog to digital converter. Um, it sounds better to me. I found sometimes if this isn't on, it can get a little bit crunchy. So that's one setting I, I, I tend to use. Um, I'm not gonna be using the compressor. I rarely compress with mastering. It's rare, it's probably once in every 60 songs that I'll use a compressor that it needed it. Everything comes in so slam these days, there's not a whole lot of need for it. So I don't use the compressor, that's turned off. We're gonna put these on the plus four just uh, oversampling, just to get a little better quality out of it. And then I usually turn this on to high quality. I'm gonna keep it off for now. I usually turn that on when I go to bounce. I don't want the whole computer to crash right, right now. You can see here, there's a, there's a DAC, which is a digital analog converter, and then an analog to digital converter. Uh, these are my settings I usually start with. I like the way the MyTech sounds, and C2 is pretty good for a lot of the kind of bass heavy music that I do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this going. Um, I like to clip into the limiter. So what I tend to do with this plugin is I'm gonna boost my pre-insert and that's gonna get my, my clipper. It's gonna start clipping a bit. You'll see this red light go. That's where I know I'm kind of maybe hitting it too hard. I'll dial that back a bit and then we're gonna boost our limiter to get the final level. And so we'll see, you know, our integrated changing and trying to get to around negative nine, like I said in the beginning. Um, so yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 
And that should be it. The limiter sounds pretty good. It's not pumping too much. Um, all is well when that respect. I would AB, but the volume's gonna be so different. I think doing the EQ AB was the best one we could do. This is just giving us our overall level and maybe giving us quite a, you know, a bit of sound with the converters. So that's that for mastering with Acoustica Audio plugins. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which plugins do you guys use from Acoustica for mastering? I'd love to know. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you guys soon.